Welcome to Online Tools for Direct Farm Marketing. This is a series of short videos that introduce some online tools that you can use in your farm or operation to direct market uh, your, your farm products. Uh, my name is Ryan Pesch. I'm an extension educator with the University of Minnesota. And this work is sponsored in part by the Buy Fresh, Buy Local campaign of the Upper Minnesota River Valley, as well as the West Central Sustainable Partnership. Well, one site I'd like to introduce to you is a localfoods.umn.edu site. Uh, this would be an online directory, uh, not unlike uh, localharvest.org or local dirt, uh, where you, as a, a producer of local foods, are able to register yourself and basically get a small, like a mini website uh, on here uh, where you can put some basic information about your operation, uh, some basic pictures, and things like that. Uh, so if you have no web presence at all, at the very least you can be found uh, through this website and, and you even use the URL uh, or address from this website uh, in some of your maybe face-to-face -face or um, print marketing. So uh, what I'll do here is just give you a, a basic tour about how a customer would use the local food site and then um, show you how you join the site and some of the basic features of the site uh, for yourself if you joined as a grower. So if I were came here as a customer, I'd go to si find in order to find uh, foods, local foods, and there's a number of different ways of finding foods. Uh, one is by category. Those categories are for uh, the broad categories of, of local food purveyors from caterers to retailers to restaurants that feature local foods. I could look by, by product and this sort of drills down to the product level, uh, whether it's grapes or grass-fed meats or cherries or vegetables or specific kind of vegetables like cucumbers. Uh, you can click on there and find uh, growers that supply those things. You can also explore a map. So for example, if I want to find CSA operations that are currently on the site, I click uh, Community Supported Agriculture and click Update button and I'll begin to see all the different uh, CSAs that are currently listed. And lastly, uh, like a lot of local food sites, there is a search function where a person can look for products uh, in relation to their own home. So for example, I will search for beef within 50 miles of my zip code. And I'll find a number of those that are registered on the site come up. For example, we have Arrowwood Family Farm. Uh, they are an operation that direct market, direct, direct markets uh, meats, including beef, uh, from Fergus Falls. And as you see, uh, this is gives you some sense of the scale of, of a listing on a directory site. There's a, a basic description about the operation here. And again, uh, the better that you can describe your your operation in more vivid detail uh, the more it might attract attention of a customer but you also have basic things like a uh, phone number and address so that myself as a customer I can get a hold of this operation I also have their website where I can uh, learn more about their operation we see all the beef uh, products and services which will show up if you uh, you search by product and you see over here here's a basic uh, their logo over here, which is, is very nice. Um, also, there is a, a map function, so if I click on map, I can go uh, directly to their operation here, which is uh, displayed in the Google map. Now, if you wanted to join localfoods.umn.edu, you'd click the connect button up here in the upper right and click join this site and register with some basic information about yourself on this information and send in a request and once uh, you are authenticated then you can open up uh, your your own your own mini website here on the directory but to edit it's very simple you click login once you are registered uh, put in a username and password most important don't lose your password you click on what you'd like to edit and you'll see here there's these edit buttons where you can change uh, the information. For example, on our own operation, 
we have a few pictures to kind of display our products as well as we are members of the Upper Minnesota River Valley chapter by Fresh by Local so we have that listed here. On the left hand side we can click edit. You see here at the top this is the URL or the address uh, where you'd find our listing. So if you didn't have any website at all you could use this in your marketing. Uh, we just You just click on or off to change the category that you're part of. You'd simply just go in and change description by clicking and typing. Here in the upper right you can change such things as your location. It, to make sure your your dot is put in the right place there's you can put your exact latitude and longitude in order that it's accurate. You can change your contacts, contacts and you can also change uh, the products that you currently have available for the season uh, so that say if I decide I'm not doing beans next year I just click click here uh, remove or down here I add new products in order that I have the most up-to-date and timely information uh, for for my customers uh, when they they search me and find me uh, through through this this directory.